Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to make beats in GarageBand. So let's get started. Here we are with the opening screen. I'm going to go for an empty project, click Choose, and it will give me the default settings of the classic electric piano, 120 BPM. Let's stick with that because it's a nice tempo to work in. Uh, so I will want to change this electric piano by selecting that track, making sure my library is open, clicking this icon over here, and then going down to the drum kit. I'll show you electric drums in a minute, but let's start with the default uh, classic SoCal. And you can, you can click any of these download icons if you haven't got any of these drum kits to get the other drums that you may be interested in. But for the moment, SoCal is good. To get the uh, screen up I need, Command K on your Mac. Command K brings up a musical typing interface and uh, you can see the letters apply to the letters on a wonderful Mac keyboard. And I'll show you how that works. A, S, D, W, E. I'm playing different things there. So I'm going to do a very simple drum beat. I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four to the beats of the track. And I'll try and be as accurate as I can. To start recording, hit this button here, record, or hit R on your keyboard. Ready? It's going to count me in one bar. Okay, you can see that actually, quite clearly, I was not keeping in time with 120 BPM. So I've recorded a drum beat in. How do I edit it to be exactly where I want it to be? Double click your SoCal and suddenly down here, you will see in its full glory uh, that drum beat that I've started recording. So I'm going to zoom in now and edit this to be absolutely spot on. So I'm going to click all of the beats that I played and I'm simply going to move them so they're lined up with 120 BPM exactly. Here we go. And drag this out a little bit, drag this out a little bit. By using the edit commands, it's very easy to make this all match. And then to save myself time, once I've done this once, I am going to select all of that, delete it all, and then I'm gonna select all of this, Command C, go to the second bar here, Command V, that's perfect. Third bar, oh, there are a few stray beats there, let's get rid of them. Start of the third bar, paste again, and let's do it at the start of the fourth bar as well. And there we go. Now we should have a perfect drum beat. Let's listen back to it with a little bit of editing involved, of course. Play. Yes, nice. You can even see the musical typing playing back there on the keyboard there as I replay. Okay, that's very good. Now I want to do it with an electronic drum kit. Well, I've already done the work, so I could just go into electronic drum kit, uh, choose something. Wow, so much. Let's go for the modern club here. It will automatically transform that to a modern club uh, instrument. And then if I play it back, you're going to get something different. <laughs> And then I can go further and I can create maybe another track here by clicking new track and I want uh, a sound from my Mac. Uh, and let's go for the electronic drum kit. Let's go for Major Crush. How about that? And let's listen to what we got here. So I might just play a 120 BPM uh, track to this. So let's try and do that. Okay, again, you can hear that I wasn't exactly spot on with Major Crush, but no problems at all. Let's just double click it and load it up down here. Let's move those drum beats to be accurate and in time. Again with this one. And the same with this one here. Make it, and it all snaps, which is very easy when you're editing. You can see how on the beat you were or how off beat you were and be really embarrassed by your actions. Delete the rest of those, Command C to copy, and then I'm gonna to go to the start of each bar and paste, and now we're gonna have a perfectly in sync, uh, layered up couple of tracks here. Let's listen to them back again. And there we go. That is an introduction on how you make beats inside GarageBand. If you're having any issues or you'd like to discuss your workflow, please leave a comment to this video.